All right, so in this video, I'm going to quickly go over adding additional objects to uh, my image here, um, besides just like pictures that I find online. So like, like, like I said, let's say this is um, my animation, right? So I'm building up my object. So I have my house, right? Which I need my house to kind of fit this space, so. Um, let me just make this picture bigger so that it fills in that space. And, um, and then I have my car, right, which is going to be on the road here, like driving by. I also have these wheels, so I have my right and left wheel. I'm just going to move them back here. So I'm just building up all the parts. So right now I have, you know, in your animation, you need to have three to four moving parts, right? Which I do. I have this, um, the car that's going to be moving. And then I have these wheels that are going to be moving. Um, I did create a garage, right? That idea of the garage. However, I might make that my button. So I'm not going to, um, Call that a moving part. So right now I've got like three moving parts. I have my car and then I have a wheel and a wheel. Um, so that would kind of make up that um, that part of the assignment. Then you need to have like two buttons, right? So maybe I'm going to create one button in, um, in Animate, all right? And I'm going to create one button here. So let's say that my button was um, the garage door here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because I made the house a little bit bigger. So this would be the door um, opening and then I also have the door shutting. Right? So um, I'm building parts for my button in Photoshop as well. I can do this in Animate as well. Um, so with my button that's what it would look like if it was in the up position, over would be it's slightly open, and then down would be um, the garage door is completely open. So that would be one button. So now I have my three or four moving parts with my car, and then I have um, one of my buttons. Now I need to have two buttons, so maybe I'll create the other button in in animate, or I could create it here. You know, you you know, remember in the last class I was talking about. You know, you have to create some stuff yourself. So let's say, you know, I wanted to, um, you know, add to my picture here and I wanted to add maybe, I think I said like a small sun in the background, right? I can do that using my shape tool. Um, I can change the color here of the shape. Okay. Um, so remember, you can create objects using your shape tool. And in Photoshop and in Photopea, you have custom shapes. So you can go up, scroll up to the top, and you can see all of these different shapes. Um, you can add some of these to your animation. You can, um, you know, these would be really good for buttons. You know, if you wanted to play around with the idea of a button somewhere in your picture, um, these little symbols, I feel, would be great buttons to use. Um, so you can definitely check those out. You can also paint and draw. So um, I'm just going to call this sun. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a new layer. And in the video, I had created a tree. So if you have like um, a drawing tablet, it's a lot easier to draw, but you can use your paintbrush, right? So this is your paintbrush. You have all different types of paintbrushes. You can change the flow of their paintbrush, so that would be like the more pressure you put on your paintbrush, the darker it will be, the less pressure, the lighter it will be. Um, you could change the opacity of it, things like that. All right, so in the last video, I was just kind of showing an example of how I was drawing a tree over here. 
This is not going to be the best tree ever because um, I'm using my hand and, and my mouse to draw this tree. But let's say I wanted to just put a tree over here that I made myself. Um, I honestly wouldn't make it black, so I'm going to just go over that again in like a nice brown. What can I add brown to this? Okay, and then I'm going to change my paintbrush to something like this maybe and add greenery at the top. Um, so you can make and build up objects that way. Now, I also made my animation, I'm sorry, look like a oil painting. So what I can do is also go to my filter gallery, or I had gone to stylize, done oil paint, and I can make that tree, I don't know where that tree is right now, look like an oil painting, right? So when I click OK, you can see that it kind of takes on that same style, which is kind of fun. I could do the same with the sun too if I wanted to. Um, I can go to stylize, oil paint, convert to a smart object, hit OK, and you can see now that the sun kind of takes on that texture too. So those are two objects that I created myself, right? So I've got these objects I found online, I have these objects that I created um, myself. So there's a lot of different ways that you can create elements in your animation. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know.